guys i am laniki and you are watching what happened on the soaps this is uh days for our lives edition today is thursday january the 11th 2023 on a scale of one to ten um i'm going to have to give this one a solid six all right let's go ahead and get into it so first of all we see harris comes up to kate and roman who are sitting down enjoying breakfast with each other sorry i hope my mic isn't too close to my mouth um who is sitting down enjoying breakfast with each other in the town square horton square and so when he <clears throat> excuse me excuse me comes up to them um he asks to speak to kate alone and of course roman says uh, he tells Roman, do you mind? And Roman says, yes, I do mind. Whatever you have to tell Kate, you can say in front of me. And Kate, of course, agrees to this. I don't think it was that big of a deal, but okay. Um, so they sit down and he sits down and he talks and he says, Kate, I need to speak to you about Lucas. And of course, she's like, oh my gosh, something happened to him in prison. He said, no, I, you know, this whole drug epidemic that's going on, we believe that it's linked back to some, linked back to someone from Statesville. And she was like, okay, but Lucas isn't, you know, he's, he wouldn't do that. And he said, no, what I'm asking is that we need an inside man to give us information. Um, and we were wanting to, I was wanting to see if we could work with Lucas. Of course, Kate says, no, she says it's too dangerous. She just wants Lucas to do his time and come home. Then she gets up and leaves because she has to take a call uh, with Billy. And so when uh, she does that, Roman and Harris continue to talk. And Roman tells Harris, listen, Lucas is in prison for kidnapping my daughter. So that's where he's supposed to be to serve his crimes. And then um, because Harris tells Roman that if they could get Lucas to help, then he would get his sentence. Um, you know, like he would let him go free from prison. And um, Roman, of course, is like, what are you, a miracle worker or something? He said, you know how this works, Roman. They would see Lucas as a hero because this drug epidemic in Salem is huge. So they would see him as a hero and they would allow this. And so Roman says, you know what? He Lucas did help when we wanted to get to Orpheus. And Harris did remind him, Kate is your wife and you know she wants her son free. He said, yes, and I do love Kate and I would do anything for her. So yeah I'll, if you can talk kate into it i'm behind it and so kate comes back to sit down and you know they're talking about billy and and uh and everything and and then harris tells her well what if we get lucas out so he tells her all you know the plans to of how this would actually help lucas if he could help the police and kate is hesitant hesitant but she wants lucas free so she's like you know what okay i'll do it so then um and so that's what's gonna happen there she just hopes she's not making a mistake so then moving on from that we go over here to brady um alex Teresa, and justin so they're all sitting they're all standing around and they're talking about tate well first of all um alex before justin gets there they talk to rafe and they tell rafe that tate was in attacked in prison he said he didn't know well in the you know jail he said he didn't know that he told them to put tate in isolation so he's gonna go check on that and um so he goes off and checks on that so while he's doing that justin comes up and they find out that um Tate was supposed to have some type of hearing, but um, it was denied. So he's not going to be able to get any type of um, appeal. His appeal was denied and everything. So, of course, Alex is throwing shots at Justin saying, listen, this is his fault because he didn't do what he was supposed to do. And I said, why are y'all there? Alex is becoming unlikable for me because he's being such a jerk to Justin. And it's because he's gotten all this money um and everything but i i don't know y'all he's becoming unlikable the way he speaks to justin and he pretty much told justin you were no good i told you we should have went with my lawyer um because justin is no good when it comes to this he wasn't able like we need resources and justin said this is what justin is telling alex we need resources it takes a lot of money 
to do move mountains and alex said we have money and justin said well it also takes time and alex is like i ha we have money that would have bought the time alex is like if ej can throw money at this and get uh get a judge in his pocket and get all this stuff uh, maneuvered, then we have just as much money as the Demeras. So let's throw money at it as well. Um, so anyways, that's what they end up trying to do. But, um, Alex is just like, I should, I sh we should have went with my lawyer. And Justin is like, he's had enough of it. He's tired of being insulted by Alex. He said, I've done everything legally possible that I could do. And that's, that's it. Like I'm off the case. I will remove myself and you could bring your own person in. And that's where it goes from there. So then we see that, um, Brady, Justin and Rafe talk and Rafe lets Brady know that he, it was some kind of oversight. He got, um, Tate into a safe environment, you know, into isolation. The guards are going to be checking on him. He's going to send the med team down every few hours to check on him. He Tate wants Brady and Teresa to know that he's good. Um, he gave him some ice for his eye. And it's all, you know, he's doing much better. They're trying to keep him as safe as possible. Of course, uh, Brady appreciates that. And so then Rafe says, before you go in and do this motion, Justin, we need to be sure that you are going to remove yourself for, from this case, that that would be the best thing to do before you go in and go into the room and tell Teresa and Alex that you're removing yourself. And Brady said, listen, I know I didn't stand up for you in there earlier, but this is my son. You're the best. I, um, we can get a second opinion from Bill or Carrie or somebody, but otherwise I want you um on the case i said well y'all gonna have to have him on the case because who coming back um he said otherwise i want you um on the case so don't even worry about what alex said i have your this is my son not alex Teresa and i are the parents and we will back you and justin says okay but um let's go see child they go up in here with alex and rodney the lawyer he thought he was gonna bring in this hot shot lawyer rodney said baby justin did the best that could be done i'm not about to do anything else because i could be disbarred so no i'm not gonna do it and so they get off the phone and alex has to let them know and so they said okay fine then justin is going to take over the case and justin says i will do it but alex i'm not willing to take any more insults from you you stay out of my way that's what i heard and alex said okay fine and so then, uh, Teresa, Alex, Justin ends up leaving and Ter Teresa tells Alex, Brady and I are Tate's parents and we need to talk about this. He's like, you want me to leave? And she was like, yes, yes, sir. Cause if Justin had quit, they were not going to have a lawyer. And so she said, yes. Um, so he ends up leaving or whatever. And, um, Brady was like, that was harsh. She said, I, I, this is about my son. I don't care about hurting feelings. I said, girl um t alex is acting like this because your butt lied <laughs> your butt lied well alex is being a jerk because it, obviously money changes you because this changed him but you also lied to this man and you got you're sitting here looking at this father and son relationship that's broken down because you told alex that his dad was um victor when you knew his dad was was alex just because you wanted the money i don't know i feel bad for Teresa, but not too much you did you 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 start not the whole take thing she didn't do that but you started this whole breakdown between alex and and justin this really is your fault let's move on child um so then we see everett and chad because that's it with those people we see everett and chad and they're sitting at the um the, they're talking right at the paper and so while they're speaking um they talk about you know everything going on with um his article and and he's like you did a great job and ever like i see you writing down notes he said yeah because there's a meeting i want you to go to with me with paulina and he was like oh that should be good she's always great for um you know uh, she, she's always gives the great, the best, uh, sound bites and everything. So this should be really good, um, for the article. So then he tells him, um, yeah, cause he brings up Stephanie and how she's helping, 
um, him and and with the with the paper and and just the PR part of it. And he tells him, well, I saw you guys kissing on New Year's Eve and it looked really passionate. And he said, yeah, but it was just it was just one of those things. It wasn't much to it. Um, it we just got caught up in the moment. That was all. And he's like, oh, so Chad is like, oh, okay. He said, all right, let's go to Paulina's then. And that's pretty much it, y'all, um, with that whole thing. So they get up, they go to Paulina's, and they're talking to her. And, you know, Paulina still got her little cough cough going on. And so they're talking about the drugs. They're asking her, what do you have to say? So she said, um, okay, this is what I have to say to the citizens of Salem. They start recording her. She's doing a lot of coughing. Um, and so they get her water and everything. She gives her speech. She tells them um, that she's going to be make sure that everyone understands how dangerous these drugs are. And then um, she gets a phone call while she's doing all this coughing and they're concerned about her. They give her water. You know, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she gets a phone call from the hospital, but she ignores it because they're there. And so they, you know, they decide to go, they get their the article they need. So they leave, right? And so then Pauline is like, um, Plus, they're having this Mar- Martin Luther MLK Martin Luther King Day special, I guess, going on, and um, the, so they're throwing this event. So Paulina was telling them about that as well. So anyway, she calls her doctor. They tell her we need to br- you to come in for the results, and she said, "Why can't y'all just give them to me on the phone?" The nurse over the phone, the nurse says, "No, no, no. The doctor has to do this for you." And she said, "Okay, but well, um, they want her to come in the next day," and she said, "I." next day that's the my that's our little program going on and they're like no you need to come in so she's like okay so Paulina is of course concerned because they wouldn't give her the results over the phone and then they want to want to see her immediately so then we see Everett and Chad leave and they were like that was great with Paulina the coughing was concerning and Everett said I did happen to take a glance at her phone and she was ignoring a call from the hospital he said, do you think it's more than just a little cough? And he said, yes. I said, oh, Lord, is, is this why the whole A still have an amnesia going, is still going on? Because he's going to have to step back in as mayor? Um, because they did bring up that A was a black mayor, then Paulina is um, a black woman mayor. And, you know, this is all the dream that MLK had and everything. They brought all that up. But we've been saying for a few weeks now, like, why hasn't A regained his memory? So is something going to go down where Paulina's need to step aside and they're going to need a mayor and this is how they're going to get A back into that in, into that role? I don't know. I'm just guessing, you know, don't take everything I say. I just be, I'm, I'll watch it just like you and I'm just giving my thoughts. Um, so anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. It was a solid episode. Uh, for me, no fireworks or anything. It was just a solid episode. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the final episode of the week of What Happened on the Soaps, Days of Our Lives edition. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.